Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. I'm Hamid Reza, and I'm thrilled to present five common idioms in the English language. Today, we will be discussing various ways to express how well you know something, so do stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe in case you liked it. The first idiom of the day is to know something, or perhaps someone, inside out. Well, at times in our lives, after spending months and years with a specific person, you feel like you know everything about that person. His or her habits, hobbies, interests, you name it. In other words, you know the person inside out. Or perhaps you have spent years specializing on a specific subject and you know almost everything about the very same subject. This is where you would say you know it inside out. So, here's a question for you. Who do you think knows you inside out? Let's move on to the second idiom of the day, which is to know your stuff. When you're really good at doing something or know a lot about a specific subject, then you really know your stuff. For example, there's this friend of mine called Brad. I've been following his work for years. I guess it's safe to say that he's been an excellent lawyer. He really knows his stuff. Well, in your opinion, in what field do you certainly know your stuff? It's time for the third idiom of the day. When something seems familiar as if you have seen it before or when it sounds familiar as if you have heard it before, then we say that it has a familiar ring to it. For instance, the other day I attended a conference. I didn't know who was speaking but his voice had a familiar ring. It indeed caught my attention. Well, what about you? When was the last time you heard some stranger's voice who had a familiar ring to it? Let's have a look at the fourth idiom of the day. When something sounds familiar, we say that it rings a bell. For example, a few days ago someone called out my name on the street. When she introduced herself, her name rang a bell, but unfortunately I couldn't recognize her. Isn't that a bummer, huh? <laughs> and you, when someone who knows you calls out your name and starts introducing herself but her name doesn't ring a bell, how do you react? Finally, the last idiom of the day. When you know a place really well, we say that you know it like the back of your hand. A few weeks ago, I was planning to visit Paris and I had a few neighborhoods in mind, but I wasn't quite sure where to stay. So I contacted my friend Emily, who used to stay there. She recommended staying close to the center, which was quite a surprise to be honest. Well, I did as she suggested and I have to admit, I couldn't be any happier. After all, 
She really knows the area like the back of her hand. Now, it's your turn. In your current city, which area do you think you know like the back of your hand? So that brings us to an end. Thank you very much for listening. And don't forget to subscribe in case you liked it. Don't forget to stay safe, stay kind, and stay fun.